Hey everybody, welcome back to another Judgment Commentary of Dr. Stone, Stone Wars. But today, I'm going to be checking out the last three episodes of the season, episodes 9 through 11. Yes, not 9 through 12 like you would expect. There was no 12th episode. For some reason, they wanted to cut the season off right there. I guess they couldn't stretch out an extra episode. Anyway, last time, the Stone Wars had truly begun at last with Senku and the gang making their move to try to reclaim the cave that they could use to turn people back to normal from the stone, because getting that cave is what's important. Whoever has it has a massive advantage in that they can resurrect more people to be on their side. And they were actually successful. They did fight their way in, in epic fashion, mind you, and reclaimed the cave. It was truly a great moment of victory. For all of 10 seconds, until Tsukasa and the rest of his gang showed up to try to take it back. And even Tsukasa by himself is more than overpowered enough to take it on his own, let alone with the rest of his OP gang. So things aren't looking good. However, there's also Senku's little back pocket secret plan that he concocted to reassemble all the people that Tsukasa had been smashing apart. So that's something to look forward to as well, if they can manage to get the cave. Honestly, I did not even consider that that was an option, that they could reassemble them. I mean, after they got smashed to pieces, you'd think that'd be it, but nope. <laughs> who, who, I, don't, I, I don't know how the logic necessarily follows, but I, I, I guess I can get behind that. Because if they're just normal underneath and then covered in the stone, after they get smashed apart, that would just be it, right? You're putting them back together shouldn't do anything unless they're completely turned into stone all the way through, and somehow the bat guano breaks the stone down and turns them back to normal. Which, I'm not sure there's much scientific basis behind that, but hey, I'm not sure there's much scientific basis behind a giant magical green beam that turns people into stone, so... Whatever, whatever. There's logic out the window, nobody cares. It's certainly not worth continually harping on, so for now, Let's just get started with episode 9. Here we are. Or not. Wow, these last three episodes were some of the best <laughs> of the season. For sure, for sure. They built up to these very well, man. The The stakes were high, and man, I felt it <laughs> hurt my heart so much. I don't know why. That just was hitting me very close to home for some reason. Ugh. Poor Sakasa and his, uh, his poor sister Mirai. Name means uh, future. Inter interesting choice <laughs> that you would name her uh, future. Okay hmm. then, but yeah, that was sad. Hurt. Now they have to find the source of the petrification at last. The one last greatest mystery of Dr. Stone. What caused the purification? Who did it? Why? What is the science behind it? It's a, it's a great mystery. It's a, akin to the, you know, the basement of Attack on Titan almost, where it's like, oh, we got the key. We just need to get into the basement. We can find out all the mysteries. Well, this is uh, kind of like that. It reminds me of it anyway. I'm having trouble gathering my thoughts on the matter, but still, I loved these three a lot. The the end of the fight was pretty good. The, the truce uh, went... It was going well for the most part. Tsukasa was definitely in on it, but then the other guy, I never learned his name. Sorry. <laughs> something with an H or something, but... <laughs> him, him turning on them, saw it coming. A mile off, man. It was way too obvious. Especially the, hey, I maybe we want to go to the river for a second. Yeah, that was... Please, he couldn't have made it more obvious, man. But... <sighs> still having it happen. It's just terrible. These last three episodes were easily the most engaging of season two so far, you know? Season two, it, where, when it began, it just continued where season one left off, continuing the momentum that it had already built. It didn't like start off on like some, some massive new 
note of like, hey, welcome to season two. It was just, hey, welcome back to Dr. Stone. We're continuing along where we last were. And then all that momentum they built up got delivered upon right at the end here, man, masterfully. And hey, it didn't really need an episode 12. It managed to tie it all together in these last three episodes good enough that it didn't need to have another one. It probably would have just dragged on too much. The pacing was already really good with these three, for sure. The other one would have just uh, messed with it. So maybe that's why they did it 11 instead of 12, is that they couldn't figure out how to properly pace it with an additional episode, so they just cut it short. But hey, if it works. So I guess that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed. Subscribe to be updated on more of the things I do around these parts. Maybe we'll get Dr. Stone Season 3 at some point in the near future, and when we do, hey, I'll gladly check it out, given the opportunity. And of course, we have our friend Jason Hydrea to thank for continuing to commission for Dr. Stone Season 2. Thank you very much. Really glad I got to check it out. I don't know when I would have gotten the opportunity to see it otherwise, so I'm very grateful for you for commissioning this. Thank you very much. It was fantastic, especially by those last three episodes. They really drove the point home. Hey, maybe I'm overhyping it right now, but I had fun. Hope you guys had fun as well. And they've set up a really interesting arc for, ne for the next one, where they're gonna be building boats and they're gonna travel down to the other side of the earth to try to find the source of the petrification. They have the perfect motive to do so too. Before, there was nothing that really prompted them to try to figure it out other than curiosity, but now, they have to figure out the petrification so that they can save Tsukasa because of his fatal injury. He was gonna die of freaking sepsis, but thanks to the magical sciencey nonsense <laughs> that is the petrification, if you petrify somebody and then bring them back, it just auto heals any wounds or problems that they had beforehand. The point is, this is their motivation to go and figure out the source of the petrification. They had no reason to do so before, but now they have to do it to save Tsukasa, and I'm all in on that. So hey, in my opinion, I say Dr. Stone Season 2 lived up to Dr. Stone Season 1 in a lot of ways, even if it was less than half of the length of Season 1. It's because they didn't have as much to build up, you know? Season 1 had a lot that it needed to develop and establish, but Season 2 just got to continue what it was already doing, and it did that extremely well. It didn't need to take as much time to establish things. If they had tried to stretch it out to another like 24 episodes, it would have definitely managed to affect the pacing. So I'm glad they did it like this. So yeah, like I said, these last three episodes were great. Dr. Stone Stone Wars was also great overall. And I look forward to seeing what else it has in store for us in the future. And I hope to see you guys as well in whatever else I end up reacting to after this. So till we meet again, I will see you guys Oh, later.